Yeah, um, um, good afternoon to members of the media. Uh, thanks for your patience. And um, as I said, lunch is on me. Um, yeah, no, 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 important game for us. Uh, difficult game for us. Uh, I said after we, we played them, uh, it's, it's a very, very good side with a lot of internationals. A team that uh, will uh, will definitely give us a lot of problems because I'm sure they will fight to try to 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 discover the result. But we have to we have to give our best. We have to have the right mentality and try to to win the football match. Thank you, coach. Now, from your side, from just from a player's perspective, uh, going into this match with a four-one advantage, your thoughts are Thank you for the platform. Uh, just want to say. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, it's, a, it's a very difficult match. Uh, they, they, they're a good team, uh, to be honest. And they wouldn't have, have made the quarterfinals if they weren't a, a good team. Uh, it's just that to, 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 to forget about the first leg. You know, uh, we thought also we had an advantage last year. So, and then it, it, it's a pity that uh, the game of football doesn't, doesn't actually uh, linger on to the past. It's a, it's a new day, it's a new game. Uh, we're looking forward to it and make sure that we, we, we do our end of the battle. Thank you now, members of the video, to ask questions. Can you raise your hand and identify your top of the lesson? Afternoon, coach. Afternoon. I'm Kamkhali um, from YFM. Coach, 4 1 scoreline. Are you going to this encounter? One would say, I'm not taking it easy. Do you feel the need to still go out there and push and score more goals into this encounter? And also, your thoughts on Peter Shadwell scoring 100 goals in this country? Yeah, um, I was telling the players this morning uh, because yesterday we had, we had the day off, to, to, which was very important to, to break. Uh, a monotonous cycle of, of being in camp for for eight days, but before that we we were in Cape Town. We didn't even have enough time to spend with the family or families, and uh, we had to break the cycle by by giving them a day off, which I think they they thoroughly deserved, and uh, they worked very very hard for it. And uh, I was telling them that uh, normally on my days off, I spend a lot more time on the team and trying to 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 do a lot of work to check, but yesterday I spent time on Real Madrid and trying to find out what really makes Real Madrid so, so, so good, especially in the Champions League. And, the, and there's two games that I watched. is a, is a game against uh, Liverpool where they went to Anfield and they won 5-2. I watched the game to see what schemes, what uh, organizational forms they had. And then uh, you check when they go to 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 host Liverpool at the Santiago Bernabeu. They play they play the game as if he, 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 their lives depend on it, as if they don't have a heavy score that they can fall on and and use as a cushion. And that was the biggest lesson. The biggest lesson was that, and uh, it's something we delivered to the players this morning. We've uh, we've we've addressed from a from a psychological perspective what we need to to have and. Uh, for sure, it will be like Neo says, it will be a very difficult game because uh, you, you don't even have to go to very, very far to, 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 to understand that. Because last season, or two, season, two years ago, we played the very same football club, okay, of course, uh, not, not with home ground advantage, but we played them in the, the group stages and we beat them. But they came to Pretoria and they, they beat us, so we we know that they are they are a team that's that's uh, and there's only two teams that have done that in the Champions League, uh, and they are one of the two. So so we have to know that they can beat us. We have to be at our best. We have to know the the quality that they have. Can do is number one international for 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 Algeria. Uh, Belkatir, the right back, is number one uh, right back for Algeria. Uh, Laufi, number one left back for for Algeria. Mrzaik didn't uh, the number five didn't start, but he's him and Drau, Drauri, Drauri, the number six they start and they are number one double pivot for Algeria. So you already name five six players that play uh, top international games for 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 their national team, 
and 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 so you you understand how, how complex this game can become if we if we don't uh, have the right approach from a from a psychological perspective. And then on Peter, well, you will run out of superlatives uh, to to address the the human being, the person that he is. Um, it is it is true when they say that to be a good footballer you need to be a good human being and Peter is testimony of that. But of course, again, uh, individual individual awards within a sporting context, especially in football, are only a means of a representation of the support and the work that you are given from your teammates. And uh, without uh, without appreciating the the contributions, the assists, the work of the of of his teammates and the people around him. With the coaches and, uh, and 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 everybody associated with the football club, it becomes very impossible to 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 celebrate the 100 goals. So, in in a moment of congratulating Peter, I'd like to also congratulate the team for their contribution and their help towards helping Peter reach an incredible milestone. Thank you, coach. Uh, Peter, from New Zealand, Africa. So, uh, coach, we lost going to any of Really sure. Looking down and just looking for the second year, but in the Sundown's case, how far do they look into the possible of this in, in, in sort of like a, a next round? You start in a, a ball, like I said, just pretty much in the beginning is not looking down in the second year. What happens when Sundown is faced with a situation like this, especially with this high, with, with, with the scores that you scored from sort of like the first leg? Do you start profiling? Let me never answer that one. Uh, thank you. Uh, I feel I feel when you when you when you start to sign for Sundowns, this is the type of games that you're actually looking forward to. You know, whether you're playing at home or away. Uh, but the most important thing is that uh, we shouldn't be nervous. You know, uh, we we top footballers. We, we make sure that we improve every game. Uh, they might be a threat. You know, and then they, they 12 men playing away is always going to be there behind them. Because uh, going through our analysis, we know that it was 41,000 against 26 of us, and then uh, with a little bit of supporters that was also there. Uh, but then we, we we stuck together, and then unfortunately, you just you, you, when you sign for Marley Sundowns, you, you're actually looking forward to those type of games to build your character, to be consistent in also the performances that you that you uh, deliver for the team, and also uh, our supporters are also going to play a, a very big part as as I encourage them to also. Like coming numbers, just like the game uh, that we played at home against uh, Al Ahly, uh, uh, it's also an, it's an advantage for us, uh, and, and I'm just happy that we co could get our our end uh, uh, away, so that so that we can actually be a little bit of advantage playing at home, and also coming this side and also making sure that we get the results. Yeah, the first question is such a powerful question. Or, 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 or the only way I can answer it is to say to you, the players look for me. When the players look for me, they have to find a, cons a consistent coach. When we win, I say next match, 24 hours. When we draw, I say next match, 24 hours. When we, when we lose, because football is about winning, losing or drawing, when we lose, I have to be the same coach that says next match, 24 hours. So from day one, Mm, we try as as best as possible to say next match. So we, our energies, our 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 focus is on the next match, and that's the most important match. Yeah. Thanks, uh, coach. Uh, from sure to. Uh, coach, you know, you know, you know, if you want to maybe go back a little bit to last season, where it was surprising in the manner in which the team was in the quarterfinals. Now we take that into this season. You are sort of like one in the series after such a long time that you guys have been starting to get out of the quarterfinals. How do you now approach Saturday's match? Then you 
<coughs> yeah, uh, no, we, we approach it the same. Um, um, I said before, and I'll say maybe again, uh, reiterate, it's, it's not an obsession, the Champions League. Um, you know, the, the, not so long ago with the Nepen Cup, you were telling me about how your boss came to your office. And, uh, and uh, I, 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 you put these things into, into context because it's, it's, this is life. Football is a, is a microscopic reflection of, of, of society. And then I say to you, when your boss comes to your office, how, how often does your boss come into your office and give you a promotion? Or a raise, salary increase? Very often. But does, does that mean you are not one of the best journalists and very good at your job? No. So, so you guys have also, in, the, in your own space, you have you have uh, uh, media awards, for an example, Journalist of the Year, uh, uh, Scribe of the Year, uh, News Anchor of the Year. But when you don't win it, it doesn't mean your career is less successful than when you win it. And some of you are so good at your, your jobs, maybe even better than the ones that actually win the awards for uh, Journalist of the Year and Scribe of the Year uh, or Employee of the Month. Uh, or the employees that get even salary increases every month that does that does not profile you and that's the same in football uh, it's a, a sport that I follow probably not as much as football but I follow a little bit because there are coaches that I have huge admiration for just as as leaders and as coaches and that's basketball and someone was telling me something the other day that Michael Jordan played 15 seasons only six seasons did he win the championship you want to tell me Michael Jordan was, uh, for the other seasons, how many, what, what was it, nine? You want to tell me all the other seasons Michael Jordan was a failure? So, it's the same in football, it's the same. We are going to try our best to win the Champions League. Will we win the Champions League? I don't know. Can we win the Champions League? 100%. Will not winning the Champions League define us as, as failures? Maybe in the eyes of people, but in my eyes, when I look at this group, how we've performed, uh, the con level of consistency, the type of football we've managed to be able to play, even while chasing good results and having the pressure to. For me, that is already a success. But of course, in football, it's, it's the results. And we live in a space where we chase perfection, and perfection uh, for, for some clubs is just the results. For other clubs that have huge, huge, huge expectations and have connotations that are attached with style and, uh, and a little bit more of, of, of the history, we have to play a certain way while we are trying to maintain good results. Is it easy to do? No. But that's why we are here. And that's why Neo says, when you sign up for Mamelodi Sundowns, that's exactly what you sign to carry. It's the burden that you have to, to carry with the blessing of representing this club. And then, uh, what happens with re with regards to the results is is uh, in in God's hands. But we look at ourselves with incredible incredible appreciation for all the efforts, the hard work, the sacrifices, uh, um, the type of football that we we, we try to play, uh, and 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 the happiness we try to give to our people. If that is the only thing we can take home, then I think uh, for me that's good enough. You good. Clubs like Esperance, Alakli, with that, obviously very experienced, they win a lot of titles in this competition, and they've got something very similar, which is they almost play anti football away from home, um, and they destroy you at home. But it's not something that you guys are taking approach, you guys are looking to play the same home and away. Uh, do you think it's risky? Why are you guys doing that? Has not proven to be successful in this competition. And for Leo, uh, how enjoying is it to play in a team that always plays, you know, uh, stylish football, attractive football, um, right now? Okay, thank you. Uh, it's 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 very good, you know, and. Firstly, I would like to say it's very challenging because uh, playing good football with no 
something to show for it. It's it's like just playing for for the whole game, not even scoring. Uh, uh, we have a objective to actually deliver trophies. You know, at the end of the day, to to the style of play, it's actually the reason why I'm here. Uh, I actually, uh, when I signed, I, I I was attracted to the football that I played, the tradition, the skill for the Brazilian way. And I think that's that's actually a motivation that whether we play away or or, or home, we actually make sure that we we, we keep our standards, you know. Uh, uh, and uh, I was just I was just like to say that it, it it's very good and it's actually very challenging. But then at the end of the day, we have to show for it. We can't just play. We, we need to deliver trophies. That's unfortunate part. Fortunate part actually. <laughs> um. Um, um, the, it's, it's, a, it's another very, very good question. They, 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 they saying to to Desabre Brighton, the English Premier League, you can't play this way. They said when Pep arrived in the EPL, they said you can't win in the English Premier League this way. His biggest challenge will, go, will be going to Stoke on a, on a, on a Saturday, <laughs> on a Tuesday, <laughs> on a rainy Tuesday. And, and the first time he went to Stoke, <laughs> you know the story. And what joy is there? Uh, in fact, two, two, two things, maybe three. And the third one is probably the most important because it's football. And maybe let me start there. Uh, the, the football is about not playing playing what you feel, what you want, is a way of playing and I've spoken th about this many, many, many years about game model and everybody says, ah, he's starting with these big bombastic words, but really ga a game model of a, of, a, of, a, of a team encompasses so many things. It, it's the players you have, the history that the club has, Shushan and Piano, the team is built over many, 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 many uh, transfer periods. Is built to play. It's, it's, that's 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 the profile of the team that I have every single day. And as a coach, as the number one objective is to win, and I have to try to get the best out of the players that I have to ensure that we win. Because it doesn't matter. We can play like a Burnley, and we can play. Like maybe even Real Madrid or PSG with uh, counter-attacks count and maybe Liverpool, how they won Champions League with transitions and transitions and transitions. And, and maybe that is what helps us to win. And if that's what's going to help us to win, we, w we will play that way. So we're not fixated with really, really that. But because it's the game model uh, that encompasses uh, culture, tradition, uh, squad profile, and then of course the qualities that we have technical and, 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 and tactical from, from that type of perspective, that's why we play the way we play. And that's a football answer. But there are two things, maybe life answers. One is I've always been told that the most dangerous answer is we've always done it this way. Imagine, imagine life if, 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 uh, if uh, I don't know who created the cell phone at this moment, but he came and he said, Hey, uh, the cell phone. And they said, no, 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 we've always done it, the landline line. No cell phones. Imagine whoever created the tablet came up and said, ah, you know what, there is a, you can have a computer on one screen instead of it flipping and then, and someone said, no, no, we've always done it this way, we've got computers. The evolution of society is dependent on people who try to push boundaries and try to find many other ways of doing things because without that then we sit in a space where it's comfort and then comfort doesn't breed any growth so we try uh, as best as we possibly can to to find ways to challenge ourselves like I said there's three it's a challenge for ourselves challenge for the players we want to get better we want to grow so we try to 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 go a different way it's the it's the road less traveled but we try we might get uh, skid marks, we might get bruised and cut along the way, but that is because there was no trail before, and we're trying to do it a different way. And because we try to take a different route, it's going to be painful at times. We're going to have to, to, to stretch ourselves over certain uh, barriers and, and pitfalls, and, and we're going to fall. 
because maybe the, 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 the journey is a bit too dark and, and doesn't have a trail that we can follow. But that doesn't mean you don't try. And that's, and that's the type of person that I am. I'm, I'm that type of person. I would like to think that's the personality I try to give to the players, to, to try to play a bit and to try to express themselves and to try to find different solutions in thinking about the game a little bit broader and thinking about different ways to do things. And sometimes uh, it gets me into trouble, it does, because uh, even if you look at my track record as a coach, my teams have never struggled to score goals, but at times we have been also been uh, in a way too open to be able to concede. But that's the way that I believe football should be played, and I've, that's how I feel football should be played. It's, it's the feelings that I, I, I bring every day to training, it's the feelings that I try to share individually with my talks to the players. And uh, it's, it's, it's the type of football that I enjoy watching and, and hopefully we can continue to do that because at the end our job is to try to win trophies and that's what we have to always bear in mind. Coach, yeah. uh, from Coach oh, by the way, first of all, on Wednesday when you were speaking about records, you forgot one very important record. So the win last week in Algeria uh, was the club's first win away from home in Africa in the in, in the local stages sure. the club's 53 year history. So congratulations. Congratulations to the club. Yeah. And um, Coach, last season after you got knocked out of the Champions League against Pedro, uh, you said you are taking that one and it's on you. And it's because you had regrets via the tactics. You said uh, you <coughs> were supposed to press with the three, but you, you didn't be pressed with the two. And the pressing in Al Algeria was, was, was very good. A, a lot of things technically were good in Algeria. There's this small matter of, of the box, but if you <laughs> go to that one, you're going to go there and mm -hmm. after a long time. But mm -hmm. how satisfying is a coach uh, for you to to, to to do what you want tactically and it comes out with such a, a massive result? Uh, one of the one of the greatest privileges of being a Sundowns coach, uh, the greatest privilege. I said it even on the pitch today, is that I saw the players, I talked to the players, and and they do the best that they can to try to put what I say and and what I show them on the pitch. It's one of the greatest privileges. So uh, the game belongs to the players. A lot of compliments to them for being coachable, for being tactically incredibly flexible and then being uh, trusting in the information and the, the, the tactics that we give them because they follow that to the T. So, so incredible, incredible human beings and uh, an, an incredible privilege to be their coach. Thanks, coach. We'll take the last three questions. Just to go into the, the youth um, that, you, that you've got here, um, the young Obena is in camp right now with the under 17s. Uh, mm. With everything that happened to him, uh, in fact, around him, mm -hmm. they're talking, you know, back and forth. Sort of mm. well. How do you then handle that situation? By the way, I saw him that his tuition is still going on, the way he spoke, that they, they've got that covered. How do you then help a young staff? from um, all of the monies that come from the official side of from the mother body to sign up. What's your, what's your reaction to that as a coach? And what's your message for the under-17s as they go into the effort? Yeah, let's start with the positive. The positive is we wish them all the best of luck once they represent the nation. We are all fully behind them. We do whatever we can to support and to 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 ensure that they, they, they are successful because it represents everybody. Uh, the ambitions of uh, our national teams uh, are the ambitions of all of us and uh, their success is our success, uh, their failures are our failures because we are all South Africans and we try our level best to make sure that we are successful. Uh, it, it, it means a lot to everybody associated and and who is South African. The, the Mabena situation, I don't want to get too much into it because uh, part two to to it is a lot of uh, is about perspective. And many people says, oh, but uh, being with the national team with the under 17s for a camp and training is far more important than actually playing 15 minutes in a PSL match. And if that is the understanding and the undertaking, we have to ask ourselves a lot, a lot of questions about the standard of our PSL football. It's a lot of questions. So when you go into that space. 
you then have to know what space you are going into because you open up so many, so, so many uh, uh, conundrums that I'm not so sure this is the right platform to address. Having said that, as Sundowns, we will always support the national team. We will always support our players in their endeavors to represent their nations, to represent uh, their careers and their families. And uh, we have been, and historically, you, you tell me, historically, maybe the last five, six years that I've been uh, involved in football at this type of intensity, you tell me which club has, has released so many players outside FIFA breaks, staff members outside FIFA breaks, in FIFA breaks, you, you tell me which football club has been more supportive to the national cause than Mamalo Di Sanos. Thank you. 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 Thank who were the people who were along, along the way, and uh, you know which players did you look up to uh, you know, when you were a when you were a young boy growing up, both in the and Tesnan, and also now, um, which player do you, do you look up to in Tesnan to say, you know, this is this is the guy. And if you don't coach, um, what can you say about the about the guy? But no, mm. sure. Okay, you answer it first. Uh, Thank you for the question. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, uh, I got the offer from Sundowns, you know, uh, so I accepted that so I'm here. I was looking forward to, to, to actually play with Tembazon. I was looking, looking up to him, I'm still looking up to him, you know. Uh, I'm never familiar, I never get satisfied, so I always want to learn more and more. And there's a lot of things that I can still learn and, and to, to actually take my football to the next level. And and yeah, I'm 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 watching quite a lot of players uh, uh, abroad, uh, but my favorite is Balaba Silva because of the type of position that I that, that I played started to play this season as an eight. Uh, 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 he calls himself an offensive defender, so I like to call myself that because there's a lot of work to play as an eight. Uh, yeah, but then I just want to end that to say it's one of the that it actually offered me a contract. That's why I'm here. Uh, it's actually very complex and it's gonna take a bit of a while but then yeah uh, it's 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 uh I can mention a lot of people actually. Mm -hmm. Uh uh your detective motor, you know, uh, that they used to play for for Beaver the self he was my coach at the development and actually to be to be promoted by Vasily, they were it was at Celtic. Yeah, so those are the people that discovered me there. And then, yeah, we were talking, but then, yeah, I'm at Sundowns now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, no. Uh, I don't know if. Neo no, no, no is, a, is, a, is, a, is a top professional. Um, Pleasure to coach. Uh, high, highly intelligent, extremely intelligent, um, and hardworking for 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 a player as talented as he is. He's a, he's got incredible uh, work ethic, and then also extremely versatile. Um, can play in the ten, can play in the eight, can play in the nine, can play in the false nine, can play left can play right so in the offensive positions now it takes up a little bit uh, of this uh, multifaceted type of profile because of his intelligence he can play like against Swallows wing back against Swallows when we went to a back three never played left wing back to invert to come inside um, showed that he's got the capacity to do that and uh, and also a good person. 
a very very good person the 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 talks with Neo have, have always been from even pre previous club and if you even count the previous club that I spent six months at previous club which didn't get a chance to bring anybody in because there was COVID but there was talks even during COVID to 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 bring him in there and then when uh, fortunately when we got the opportunity at Sanons to bring him in it was a, a move that was endorsed by the football club because he fitted the profile and he's here now and uh, he's, he's, he's one of the many players that uh, work very very hard to to help us to achieve our objectives uh, good day, Coach Milan and Neo. Good day, uh, good day. Uh, Coach, in this previous game, I was watching uh, Sepulveda. I mean, with regards to the PSDB Premiership, I don't think that he has been played for much minutes. So, the first question, specifically within the CAF Champions League, what do you make of Sepulveda's role within the middle of the park? And uh, the second question, uh, the CAF Champions League, holistically, in this moment in time, in terms of where, where, where would you say it is right now? And if there are improvements that needs to be brought, why would you say that? Yeah. Mm, where do I think Sipambule is? I think Sipambule is where the rest of the players are at a good level. A uh, lot of, lot of uh, investment, a lot, uh, lot of hard work, but at a level where they can all improve. They can all get better. They can all invest a little bit more, and they can all do a little bit more. And that's and that's where I think uh, Sipo is. But of course, uh, Sipo reflects part of the team, and 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 where Sipo is is where majority, if not all, of the players are in a space where they are at a very good level, but a space where there's still a little little more room for for better and better and better and better. And I'm the guy that is here every single day to push them to. For more, it's, it's not always uh, loved and appreciated, but it it is necessary, and I I'm here for that to push and push and push and and, and for them to do more. Ooh, what do I think of the Champions League? Incredible competition, uh, important for 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 African football, important for for South African football, and uh, a competition that we love. Uh, we love playing in, it's got its dynamics and its challenges, but that's the beauty of, 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 of this competition. Um, and that's, that's what I would say about the Champions League. Do you think, Coach, they are in Yeah, 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 no, no, but it was part of the question, sorry. It was part of the question, it's just that I didn't answer, sorry. Yeah, 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 um, they can, they can always be improvements, uh, for sure. Fortunately, I'm not in that space where I have to find the improvements of CAF. I have, I have so much on my plate already to try to find the improvements of Mamelodi Sundowns. So, so, yeah, like everything else in life, we, we can grow, we can get better. And for sure, I, will, I can say that even the, the custodians or the, the, the runners of, 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 of the Champions League and, 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 and CAF will agree with me to say we can always improve, for sure. Thanks, Coach. I finished this one about AB. Uh, very good. Uh, there was a lot of work done to profile, to recruit by, by the football club, which is which is incredible. And to bring a player of his level was uh, was important for us uh, because he brings a lot of different dynamics 
left foot versatility. AB can play. I I do even think AB can play as a six. No, um, I've never seen him play. I've never I've never uh, tested it. Uh, I've never. I don't think he has played there, but I think he can play as a six. I can. I think if you very very aggressive. In a, in a in a counter pressing and in, from a physicality perspective in the diamond maybe a left sided eight that doesn't give you too many possibilities to enter the box but will give you good range of passing good physicality and maybe even uh, a little bit of a of a the dynamism of a left foot finding the opposite eight on on the right uh, is 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 something I'm, I. I think about um, and maybe not too much uh, of trying that because there's very little room at Sundowns for experimentation. But it is ideas that I have a lot in my head and, and sometimes I get opportunities to put them on the pitch and they surprise the players even themselves because some of the ideas I come up with are very crazy. And But this is something that I think about AB a lot. So, so apart from left centre back, and definitely left fullback and maybe left left half centre back in a back three those three positions for sure um, in build up he can take even right right centre back because of the dynamism with finding the diagonal ball we did that against uh, who did we play? Swallows Swallows? no? Arrows it's maybe arrows or swallows. We did it. We did something very similar like that. So, so it's possible. Uh, but yeah, good, good human being, incredible, incredible athlete, uh, good physicality, good uh, motor qualities, tactically very sharp. Uh, has the barrier of the language, but 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 understands a lot of lot of talking, a lot of feedback, a lot of uh, good feelings that you get when you speak to him. So so. Uh, yeah, like like most of the players that we have, uh, I could I could I could speak about the the technical level being extremely high, but I can also speak from a human perspective. He's a great human being too. Uh, thank you for the question, sir. For me, uh, it was my first season, you know, at the club also, and also in the in the, in the Champions League. So it was more about integrating because I was still being used as someone that came off the bench a lot in, in the season so it was me to push myself I would, I would actually see it as an introduction you know uh, into the Champions League uh, uh, this season I, uh, since we started I tried to actually make sure that I, I be on the starting lineup I push myself to, to actually be a starter and from the beginning of the season and also the start of the Champions League to feature more minutes more games you know so that basically for me it's my first uh, uh, kept Champions League, you know, so uh, it's that's the difference actually from last season and this season for me. Thank you, uh, thank you very much, Neil. Thank you very much to yourself. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much, members of the media. Please do join us tomorrow and of course, two for the CR for this conference at Happy Freedom Day, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.